Hello my dear friends, welcome back and thank you very much for watching once again. So today I am testing a palette that a lot of you requested me to review. I'm talking about a Huda Beauty palette. Uh, she recently came out with, I believe, four different smaller palettes. So it's not one of her, you know, bigger palettes and I decided to buy one. I don't have any other Huda Beauty palettes, so this will be my first one. Now, I bought this on Colored Beauty. Now the first thing that I noticed when, of course, opening the package, <laughs> that this is super tiny just look at this i decided actually to pick this one because i mean i was not interested in her bigger palette quite expensive and i have already a lot of shades you know that are similar to the shades from those palettes and i have so much makeup so right now i'm actually really picky with what i buy so i decided to try huda beauty because a lot of you requested a review i thought that this is actually the perfect thing because it's not super expensive it's a smaller size so you can try a bit of everything you can try the matte shades you can try the shimmery shades so you have three shimmery shadows and you have the rest of them matte and you have everything like you know the perfect brow bone highlight darker shades a transition shade Shades, shimmery shades so I will do today something really basic you get 9 shades 10 grams of product which is not bad at all the price yes it's a little bit more you know like on the medium side okay so I will start actually with a concealer and I bought this new concealer I got this from iHerb uh, the Physicians Formula full coverage concealer uh, which looks like this and this is how it looks like definitely reminds me of MAC um, the Pro Longwear Concealer. This is the color light, but it's not light. It's like a light medium for me. I will apply this all over my eyelid. It's quite creamy. But it's actually very similar to Pro Longwear. Okay, now I will take a Hakuhoda J5523 brush. I will use this shade. A really nice creamy kind of color. They're a bit powdery, but I mean, nothing too dramatic. I don't care if an eyeshadow is powdery or not, I just care about the performance. Okay, so far the eyeshadow looks really good. It's definitely a paler cream shade. Now for the crease I will use this shade and I will apply this with a Hakodo B142 brush. It's a nice light raspberry kind of color. Uh, has, you know, nice pigmentation and it blends beautifully so far. So let's see how another shade will form on top of this one. So I will just blend, you know, any harsh lines in here with my previous brush that I used with the cream shadow. And the next shade will be this with my Zoeva 228 brush. And I think I will do like a halo eye today. So I will apply this in here in the crease, blending it on the, you know, in the corners as well. Packing a little bit more color. Okay, I think that will do like the base the base for the hell eye and then again I will try to Correct these harsh lines now on the center of the leads. I think I will use this one This color this shade is actually very very creamy. Uh, it's definitely a mixture of um, like Really sparkling pigment with some kind of cream base they feel really creamy. And if you want more of an intense color, you can definitely use your finger. Okay, so I just finished my face. I applied my false lashes. And now I will finish the eyes and I will actually apply this shade on my bottom eyelid. And I'm using my Koyuma brush to do this. And now using my Ico, this is one of the best gel eyeliners. This port waterproof eyeliner. And I will just place this in here, the waterline. And by the way, on my lips I have the um, Moonshot Extreme, Stick Extreme in Saddle Brown. And a little bit of mascara. Okay guys, and this is the makeup look done. I feel like something is missing. Like something is not okay. I don't know why. And you know, I think the problem is that this color is actually... It looks very pigmented in the pan, it's not as pigmented when you apply it on the skin. So yeah, you cannot really build up the color, you need to use some kind of base. So this is why I would love to have, you know, this color on my eyes and not really this. The matte shades have a nice consistency, they blend, you know, everything is easy. But as I mentioned, it's not super pigmented. The shades, the matte shades are not super pigmented. And if it's okay to be like this for a transition shade, for a bolder, deeper shade, I want, you know, that 
pigmented shadow for sure. The shimmery shades in here are really nice. Um, I don't like as much this one because it's just, you know, like a simple shimmery eyeshadow. The other two are have that creamy consistency, really, really intense metallic, you know, metallic shades. I would also love to hear your thoughts about, you know, these small palettes or maybe the other big palettes that she has. How are the shades and how they work? I also noticed that this is actually made in China, so... Yeah, mm. so I guess that's it. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next one.